Nice job getting us back. On our top, top right screen, Andrew Riley from Strath Haven wrestling Peyton Scott. Looks like he's got him stuck. Strath needs this to climb back into the late race. Trying to roll through with that. Scott did a nice job off his back. The middle mat, the Ridley mat, which is in our left hand, the upper left. Rush from Springfield. And Anderson from Radnor. Headlock, headlock roll through. Cahuda coming back, 8-7. We're going to go to one screen there in the middle mat, Springfield uh, rush against Anderson. That's uh, on the one screen, that's Scott Riley, right? Uh, in front of us, that... Now we're back to the now we're back to split screen with Cahunia and Belhar, which is a good one. So and up top, up top we have uh, looks like Strathaven and Springfield. Yeah, Riley up seven nothing over there from Strath. Coach Frank's a little young. He's got better eyes, so he can read the ratings on me. <laughs> Cahunia. On top with that 8-7 lead, 109 left. Riley looking for the fire. Bonus points always good for the Panthers. Well, 2-2 in the middle, Matt, and he gets the ball. Upper left, Springfield and Wagner, 2-2. 8-7, Cahuna holds the lead, 44. Now he needs to escape. He's riding that one-on-one -on -one cup. He's going to get a stalling call. Bayhaw hit for stalling. Cahoonie, mm -hmm. coach. Cahoonie was on top. He hit by the stalling call. He just called the top stalling. Wow. Who's he me making this thing? Got to get that bar. I thought he was out to the side with that bar. I was wrong. There he is. Yeah. Got a lot of action going on. Upper left, we got Rush. Cahoon, you're trying to keep that lead. 16 seconds to go. Running that far. Got to even, you know, looking. He's out to the side with it. Can't call him for stalling. A little low, but in a way. 8 7 max. Good match. Big win. Big win for the uh, Panthers. Yeah. Down on the Garner Valley map, we got Chris Webb from Pencrest, Sammy Lowe from Lower Marion. We're at 160 there, Coach. Is that correct? 160. 152 in front of us with Rocco Hardy from Ridley. That'll be on our lower screens. Luke Senko from Upper Derby, his opponent. Good push pulling back in there by Rocco. Gets the takedown. He's got a bar in her wrist. Looking to tilt it. He's close to a pin there, coach. Tough to pin that way. Get it. There it is. The Ridley Raider moving on to third My little uh, talk with him and tell him to relax. You know, he's too uptight. Told him he swears about too much at the squad and wrestle. Don't worry about your coaches, don't worry about your parents, worry about yourself. Anderson from Radner hits a headlock, gets two and two. Rush trying to come out the back. Is that Pancrest down the 160? Yeah, that's Chris uh, Bouette. Got a, uh, 
a locked hands call and a reversal to put him up 3-2 on um, Lido. Red has a cross-face cradle. We'll be able to turn it. Got that tight. Does have two swipes. Ronaldo gives him two. In front of us. Yeah, we're at 189 there, Coach. We got Louis Deluzio from Marple. Hutton Smith from Lower Marion. Goes up 5-2 to the leg rush with the win. Deluzio with a headlock. Getting swipes. From Springfield? Was that rush with the win, coach? Uh, uh, yes, rush got the win. Moves on. Moves on. Deluzio with a nice tight, tight headlock there. Yeah, as we, we split our screens. He's got to slide down to that elbow, coach. Got the wrist. Look up top on the Garner Valley, Matt. Perret still up, 5-2, Perret with the lead. No backs. Don't know what's going on there. Or our middle mat. That's a couple guys, you know, I don't, I'm not critical as an announcer of, of referees. But. Middle mat, we got. Got a, we got Holly and uh, Jimmy Holly and Siegel. Siegel showed some grit. I guess one of the things that, Ron, that I, I guess I've, I've learned throughout the years of athletics, watching my kids play all through high school, all through college, and sometimes you get excited and as a coach, it doesn't do any good, you know, because it even makes the referees more to go against you. And I try to tell people that. And, I know I get excited. You just got to keep your mouth shut. It's, it's, you know, it's an opinion call. They're not going to change their opinion. They're not going to change it. You know, they're not going to do anything good. I mean, as much as you yell. Know. And I know that you and I are probably the same thing. That Over the years, we've developed good relationships with referees, and that helped you. You know, That helps you along the way. You know? More than people believe. Yes, yes. They're not people saying, you know, they know that you're going to give them a fair shoot. And uh, like the late Larry Rose taught me that lesson a long time ago. And I lose it when I go. But. Do I cruise into 7 to 2 lead with 14 seconds left over Lido? Take that one. Brush going to take that one to win that one. Who that goes for 34? Holly. One nothing. We're going to go out there and going to get a plug in with the, well, the Action Today production, a collaboration of Ridley High School pr production and Ridley Middle School production students from the high school, Jen Nevin, Ben Weber, Ridley High School graduate, Aiden Maloney, Ridley Middle School, Kate Showwater, Naomi Engel, Rocco Page, Shane Madam, Pete Maloney, and Madison Gohan. Um, uh, guys and girls, thank you very much. It's a tremendous job. We really appreciate um, for giving us the opportunity to bring uh, the championship to the uh, people that are, that are interested uh, in the Russian community. And uh, as well, uh, Mr. Monzo and Mr. Uh, Ayanachi, as always, tremendous job. Thanks, uh, guys and girls. We, Ryan and I really appreciate it. Jimmy Howie gets a takedown. It's up 2-1. Uh, Howie up 2-1. Holly's match on our left hand, upper left hand screen. On the maroon match, Mason Shake from Radner. It's on our right. Maddie Klein from Springfield, top right. It's at 172. And Smith closing the gap on the Luzio now. Four, six, four. And when the second period, yeah, we got 25 seconds. We're going at it. We're on our middle match, Holly in a 2-2 match with uh, Siegel. 
Giorgio escapes, 7-4, as the second period winds down on the Pancrest match, or lower screens. Bailey with a quick escape. Smith, he's up to lead two. Smith, Smith. Oh, seven wow. six, gonna bring that seven six, and there we go again. Five oh, seconds left on the clock. Gets the takedown. Howie oh, and, and Siegel three two. That's a good match that's going on here. Got a cradle down below on the Garden Valley match up on the upper left. It's a one seventy two match. Shave in trouble. Shave from Radner. Nice cross face cradle. Take down, trying to get behind. He's going to get two. Good go behind there. Yeah, two. Good for work. Good go behind. Top one up. Ready, Matt. Up the left. Got a nice cross fit ride. Delusio 7 6 match with third period just starting. He's got his work cut out for him to ride him for a full period. Smith coming back. Nice oh, yeah. finish. Made seven match there. That's three good ones right now. Eight one, five two on the rhythm man. Upper left. And down below on the Garner Valley. We've got three one match in second period with 30 seconds to go. Shea and Klein. Oh, Smith looking for back. Going to get two down there. Smith looking for backs on Delusio. Klein ties it up. 3-3 three, three down there on the end, Matt. How you got 5-3. He's going to win that 5-3. Uh, Delusio coming out the back. On a... All kinds of points getting thrown around. You know where we're at, right? I got 11-10, Delusio. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll see how Webb sorts it out. I see Coach Al's got to get to the table on that one, I think. Mm -mm. Looking at Kramer and Squirtshop on uh, the Ridley mat on upper left. Mm -hmm. Down below, you know, on the Garner Valley mat on our upper right screen. Jaguar in the middle, got 3-3 match with 1-4 to go. A lot of tight matches this round, coach. Anton, Anton with a snap down, take down. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, coach, you get to throw the brick and God for what? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not too much club wrestling. Klein turning a Barnes, who looks like a pin here. And that's it. Klein comes all the way back. What do you feel about, about that on the college level, being able to challenge a call like that, Coach? Makes sense. Um, if you could speed it up, it'd be, you know, I mean, there's a fall there by uh, Squirt Shop. As stated, I thought Louis Deluzio was up 11-10, and he is. Smith at the bottom. But for some reason, I didn't want Kel, Kel Sanchez winging the brick at me. It's <laughs> been a pleasure to watch when I do get a chance to watch him. He's a great coach. He, you know, they're a lot of fun to watch. So you have Morris and Debbie Week and C. Gates. That's on our middle net. So on our middle net, upper left. There should be some sparks flying. These guys throw everything. So he's trying to head right. He doesn't have a tape. 33 to go in front of his coach. You know, what do you think's going to happen here? You think uh, David scores, ties it up? I think Smith gets out. And I think they go in the overtime. Yeah, Smith, excuse me. There it is. And there we go. Two seconds. It's the escape. 11-11. Oh, and 
Smith shoots from the board and she gets two with one second on the clock and that'll do it, 13-11. Mm -hmm. And the Marsh and he tried to go inside. He's got some size over Sam Davis. Looking down below on the Golden Valley met with the looks like Haverford and Springfield. That's Schrang and Cole. Over here in front of us, Brendan Ward from Radnor and him Stolfer from Pancras. Second period on the Ridley mat with Morris taking bottom in a nothing nothing match. Up top, Shrag leads. Morris is going to get one. Yeah, low on the Pancrest match. On the well, lower left, uh, Pancrest Shagner. Nothing to nothing, stop and win. Don't see any scoring here in the first period. A lot of low scoring matches this year. Two nothing up top. Mark, I'm going to try a lot. And he, ooh, this is it. Those guys throw everything. Bottom left, Ward gets choice. He chooses down on Stauffer. It's nothing, nothing match. I think you're right. We pointed it out again. Just three reminder, in these constellations, it's one, two, two of the periods. It's a little different than regular. Two, two, two. Ward with an escape. One, nothing. They are looking for a pull up top. Schwang doing a nice job, kicking it out. Player mm -hmm. gets some backs. Four one. Team mm -hmm. Morris trying to set that headlock up, coach. He's going to try a double. Yeah, on it. See if he can finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's going to finish. Uh, he did get the finish. Nice job. Not sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Stuck with it. Hard work pays off. A 3 0 lead, 39 to go. Stopper and Wood, 1 0 with Wood leading. Stopper's got to use that underhook with a high crotch. Stopper, another uh, student of yours, uh, Coach Frank. Another Indian leader. <laughs> another media wrestling. Is there another uh, a school in the media that beats South Indian? <laughs> Not many. I may or may have had a hand in recruiting a couple of them. Morris going to trouble there. Got to go to his belly. Saeed Davis with nice hit. 22 seconds to go in the period. He didn't get out for one, but it's 4 two. 16 seconds to go. We have Ward 1-0 in front of us on the pet crash mat. The left. The really mat. Upper left and lower right. Upper right, we have Springfield. So we're 4 2 on the Ruby mat with Marsh leading. We're 1 0 in the lead over Stopper on the Pencrest mat. It's a caution there for the Ruby Brusher. Down below, 50. Claire with a 4-1 lead, 50 seconds to go. He's trying to ride that one out. Morris going to try to hold him down. Say mm -hmm. yeah, David's got good balance, good hips. Able to escape. 4-3 match with 145 to go. We're 1-1 on one the pen pass, Matt. Mm -hmm. Aguirre comes out. Oh, no. And what? Morris likes the headlock, but, you know, he doesn't get it really tight. I slipped off on that. Is that 4-3, uh, Coach Mike? The really, the really, Matt? 4-3, Morris. 1-3-5 to go. 
three one wood. One wood gets the takedown. Yeah. It's like Ryder's gonna win down below. No on the guard down like that. Goes to head up. So Mars is going to go to the headlock, he's going to go up 6-3, 9 now, and we'll do a reversal, so it's 9-5. Stop at 4-3 with a lead over Wood, 40 seconds, he's going to go out of bounds. Down below at 2-8-5, got Conestoga and Bradman. That's Hayden Leon and Keaton Monahan. My name going to get the takedown. Stauffer goes back up 4-3 in a seesaw match. He's riding for 30. So Morris with a four-point lead, you got to be saying, you know, nothing to your back. Nothing. Almost like five or four and a half. You know. Just don't want to give up anything. Stauffer trying to ride out. Looking for those locked hands. Short time, five seconds left. Two on one's all you need for five seconds. That'll do it, Stauffer moves on. He'll have Davis. Davis from Lower Marion. Marsh with the skate, 10-5. Say a David a five needs, point move. Yeah, he needs something big, baby. Mm -hmm. Twelve seconds. Mm -hmm. We go out of bounds. So we go to our last match down with these last two coats. We're gonna wrap wrapping up a quick section here. Marsh going to take the win, 10-5. Go on to the third and fourth. And our final match of the day, down on the Garnet Valley mat. Moynihan Leon. Le Le Leon. Leon. Moynihan. Moynihan defeated Mars this morning. Could be a rematch. <laughs> to take down my hand looking for the fall and, and, it and he gets it you know so that'll end our uh consolation round we've got a little sponsorship in here as we end the round we'd like to thank our sponsor really school school the locker you can purchase affordable ready gear at the locker biz or visit us at the high school during community night event the locker is now selling central league wrestling championship shirts on their website and I did see them in the uh, cafeteria. They're really nice. Head over to the locker.biz to make your purchase and support Ridley really Wrestling. The locker's winning line is now available for purchase on their website, the locker.biz. All proceeds from the sales are needed back to the Ridley really Educational Foundation, Ridley really Families in Need, and the Ridley really High School Business Club. Right? Funding provided by Dockery Auto Sales with two locations in Folsom. What's that avenue, Coach? Uh, uh, like, well, you you go Kedron, Kedron, but it's Kedron. <laughs> Kedron Avenue and McDade Boulevard. Selling pre-owned cars and trucks since 1958. Docker Auto Sales. Funding for WRC provided by Janice's Dance Works. Located at 611 North Rappamore Avenue in Ridley Park. Janice's Dance Works takes pride in offering quality dance education for ages two through adult in a structured, positive, caring environment, instilling creative, creativity, discipline, and self-esteem. Far more than just an array of classes for all ages, from ballet to hip-hop, tumbling to tap, jazz to lyrical, and modern. Town says dance work is a place that has a heart for the community and seeks to get back to enhance, enhance people's lives. 
give Genesis Dance Works a call today at 610-534-4828. For more info, visit GenesisDanceWorks.com. Sorry about that. And our last sponsor, Verone's Collision. Been in Ridley for over 30 years. Swarthmore Avenue. Visit Verone's Collision. And uh, call Gino. 610-521-3190. He tasted that out of batch. We're going to take a break. So I call it after. We're going to be back on. And with Ron and I, too, Ron, um, again, we always like to give that. And then Ron never took me up on that offer. I was going to get him some deals last the time. He never took me up on it, you know. But we'll be back. We'll be back with this uh, uh, in a little while uh, for a preview uh, of the punch. All right. We're taking our break till quarter after. Here we go.
today's live stream of the Ridley hosting the 2023 Wrestling Championship is made possible by funding from Lawrence Collision. Lawrence Collision has been in the Ridley area for over 30 years. Located at 611 North Swarthmore Avenue, Lawrence Collision works with all major insurance companies for a free on-site estimate. Give Gino a call at 610-521-3190. That's 610-521-3190. Or visit them at LawrenceCollision.com. As BMG says, remember, Gino takes the dent out of accident. I'd also like to thank our primary sponsor, Ridley School Store, The Locker. You can purchase affordable Ridley gear at thelocker.biz or visit us at the high school during community night events. The Locker is now selling Central League Wrestling Championship shirts on their website. Head over to thelocker.biz to make the purchase and support Ridley Wrestling. The Locker's winner line is now available for purchase on their website, thelocker.biz. All proceeds from the sales are donated back to the Ridley Educational Foundation, Ridley Families in Need, and the Ridley High School Business Club. Funding for WRC is provided by Dockery's Auto Sales, two locations in Folsom, 156 Keystone Avenue, and 1201 Day Boulevard, selling pre-owned cars and trucks since 1958. Most cars are priced under $8,000. Dockery's has a great selection of pickups, SUVs, and four sedans. Most cars are local trades. Call 610-586-2970. Stop by and see Paul or Larry for your next pre-owned vehicle. You also can visit them on the web at www.dockertyautosales.com. Your next car could be just around the corner at Dockerty's Auto Sales. Back here with the voice of Central League Wrestling, Jim Cooper. Jim, how the final set up here this afternoon? Mike, it, it looks pretty good as, as we go through the lineups um, uh, for tonight's matchup, tonight's afternoon's matchups. Um, at 107, we have Hayward from... Uh, Radner taking on T-Rush from Springfield um, with the consolation match being uh, Smith from Marple and uh, Kramer from Conestoga. And then the match for fifth and sixth, it's May and Gorlack. This will be a good final. Hayward uh, number two, or excuse me, ranked in District 1 rankings. This will be a very uh, good matchup at 114. Uh, in the finals, McFarland and Nelson. One of the matches of the first with both state qualifiers last year. McFarland, uh, fifth in the state. McFarland, the Peter Nelson, one's very good. That time was a little closer last year. Should be a very good match when uh, the match is only forward to. The fourth match will take place for working team from Montoga with from Radner with uh, Daly from um, Bella Marion taking on time from Upper Darby for fifth and sixth. Uh, Mike, that, that match between Paul and Nelson, it's, it should be a run burner um, with two kids that qualified for state with Paul and twice. McFarland placing last year to be a, a, a some, when I know it's a Ridley fan I'm looking forward to to see if Carter has closed the gap a little bit on McFarland. Also for our RidleyTV.com viewers Thursday night we'll have live coverage of the boys basketball senior night against Upper Darby that's at RidleyTV.com Ridley and Upper Darby Thursday night. I want to again thank tour director Paul Wow for all his hard work and putting together athletic director Jack Signer and our maintenance and custodial staff, uh, the wrestling team who set everything up last night, and the wrestling boosters, some of the best boosters in the country there. Long standing, great booster group for the Ridley Wrestling Boosters. Mike, as a uh, uh, thank you for today, uh, all the people named the Doors Gates, uh, Mr. Frio, Del Rollier, uh, Mr. Nevin, uh, Mickey McLaughlin, do a great job, as well as the boosters. Um, Today's production is a collaboration of Ridley High School uh, production and Ridley Middle School production students, uh, singling out uh, Jennifer Nevin, Ben Weber, uh, Alex uh, Pettin, um, R.H. Ridley High School graduate, uh, Aiden uh, Deer, um, or excuse me, Aiden, Aiden Maloney, Maloney, excuse yeah. me, um, uh, Middle School, Kate Sow Sowater, mm -hmm. Naomi Engel, Rocco Pace, Shane Adams, Peyton Maloney, and Madison Goldheim. And uh, Peyton and Madison uh, did some behind-the-scenes interviews. They're going to put it together uh, when they get back to the middle school. Um, of course, the Eden Classic is coming up down the middle school, I believe, in February in memory of Linda Egan, who passed away, uh, run for years by Jim Kuskinen, who has retired. Um, so that's coming up. We'll be working with Mr. Monzo's crew 
on that production coming up in February. Mike, I also would like to give a shout out to you and Mr. Monzo for the hard work that you put in to make not only this possible, but all the productions at Ridley. I know I enjoy um, when I'm home watching the, the live streams, listening to games on the radio. And just let me tell you this, um, you know, I'm a radio guy. I don't have this uh, stuff in my car, you know, and, and 94.9, if anybody listens to you, like all these, yeah. you got to listen to 94.9 because I'm telling you, I go back to high school, college, you know, and I sing in the car, and it's it's great radio. So if anyone likes the old school, you got to go 94.9, uh, Mr. Yonachi, and his playlist is tremendous there. And we also have live student-produced programs on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday afternoon. Monday is actually a sports show. Uh, senior Brendan Skakorski, Sportski with Skakorski, uh, is every Monday from 2.30 to 3.15. Brennan, really a uh, great knowledge of he talks uh, professional sports, he talks college sports, he talks Ridley sports. So if you get a chance, tune in to Brennan. Mondays at 2.30 on WRSD 94.9 FM in Folsom. So the Prairie Champions scheduled to get underway in about 22 minutes. I'll let Jim catch his breath. We'll stand by here on RidleyTV.com. Getting ready for the championship matches. Ron and Jim will be with us in about uh, five, six minutes for their countdown to the championship. Mike, thanks.
getting ready for the Parade of Champions here at the 2023 Central League Wrestling Championship. Mike Anachi with you before Coach Ron Frank from Williamson and Jim Cooper join you for the championship finals here, the 2023 Central League Wrestling Championships. Ridley has been the destination for this uh, for six years. Talk to Chip Olinger, uh, Pencrest Athletic Director, earlier, and he just talked about how great the facility's been, the support led by Athletic Director Jack Signer, Assistant Athletic Director Sam Snow, custodial staff led by Mr. Frank Cullen, uh, getting things set up. And they have a busy weekend here at Ridley because tomorrow there is a cheerleading competition. So a busy weekend here at Ridley High School. Championship finals coming up. We'll have the Parade of Champions. Uh, and you'll be seeing something in the finals you haven't seen before. One of the, the top seed will wear a special camouflage singlet. Um, so you'll be seeing that during the finals. We'll add it flair. Uh, to the championship finals here at Ridley High School. And then the wrestling event, you have to call on the memory of Carl Schnellenbach, the longtime wrestling coach here at Ridley, started the program, one of the all-time winningest coaches in Pennsylvania history, health and phys ed teacher, uh, assistant football coach, special teams, line coach, uh, coach track, uh, the late Carl Schnellenbach we think of on this day as we wrestle here in the gym at Ridley High School. So stay tuned here on RidleyTV.com. Coming up, the championship finals of the 2023 Central League Wrestling Championships right here on RidleyTV.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Central League Wrestling Championships. Tim Cooper, along with Ron Frank, a chance to do some talking with some former wrestlers, former coaches. During the break, always good to see some of those people Already, already. Uh, now, a good friend, wrestler of mine back at Interbear, back in the late 80s. You know, kidding him, put Interbear on the uprise. Mm -hmm. Two nice years with a great group of kids Tommy Moore, Robin Show, you know, Kevin Schoener. You were reminiscing. Always good to see uh, old faces. Wait for Ron Frank to join us. Pray the champions will begin at 3.30. So all those who want to uh, get down the lake or turn the TVs on, radios, see the birds tonight, you'll be able to, to do that, hopefully. I, for one, have a ticket, and hopefully I'll be down there in time uh, to see the game as we go into uh, the final round tonight. Our team scores. Connor Stoga, 172 in first. Strathaven, 163 and a half. Second, the Raptors from Radnor, 133 third. Ridley fourth with 122. So we're live, but doesn't sound it. Cornet Valley fifth with 121 and a half. Haverford sixth with uh, 91 and a half. Frankfield seventh with 83. The Royals from Upper Derby 77 and a half and eighth. Pencrest Lions 72 and a half ninth. Marple Town Tigers uh, tenth with 60. Lower Marion with 49 11 and Harrington Rams at 24.
Coach Frank has the, Coach Frank has the finals getting a hug there from former parent. Steve Leach, runner of Strathaven's youth program, also football referee extraordinaire. Ron, um, which really wrestler should I put here? Who's, who's one? I'm, I'm, I'm teasing Ron. You gotta wait to see the uh, teaching coach Frank right now. Gotta see the McFarland because we 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 both for the second year, uh, Mr. Ralph has, you know, honorably given us most outstanding wrestler ballots, which we both take very seriously. I want to know. I had to write one last year, but Ron, you know, we don't talk about Ron. <laughs> We're not going to wait for it. Well, all right. Well, it's not wrestling. You can't get it. It's not, it's not wrestling, <laughs> so we're good. At 107, we got two guys who pinned their way through. Rush and Haywood, so. Who do you like there, Coach? I, I mean, uh, Haywood's just pretty smooth. Um, if I had to give uh, a little edge, I would give it to uh, the, the, the Brave from Radner. You know, Raptor, Raptor, Coach, we have to be, uh, you know. I'm looking, trying to, we're looking at the one seed in Hayward and the two seed in Rush at 107. But 114, Coach, what do we have going there? That's uh, McFarlane and... Uh, Curdy Nelson. Kurt, Curtis has been his way through. McFarlane's been his way through. Another two guys. That should be a good battle. Uh, as you know, McFarlane last year was winning semifinals of states, 2 nothing, And then... Uh, Wound up placing fourth or fifth, I think. I think he was fifth or sixth. Uh, so I think one of the things that you know, when I go into a match like that, uh, do, you, do you think that I guess knowing those two kids, I expect all out. You know, you get sometimes guys feeling each other out. Guys want to take it cautiously. Do you think you'll see that kind of out there at 114? I think they'll start that way. I think the first minute will be a little bit slow, and I think uh, uh, you know. Curse's advantage is his speed and on his feet, and I don't, you know, and obviously Cole's so good on top and bottom in mat wrestling, so so it'd be interesting what their choices are there. And then 121, Coach? 21, uh, and here's where Conestoga starts getting strong. Um, Wachek, he, he's pinned his way through. I don't think he's wrestled more than a minute. Uh, well, Chucky is, uh, as I said earlier, he's um, con under consideration in the uh, District 1 rankings. Um, wrestling, uh, wrestling Carroll from Garney. Car Carroll had some, some votes earlier in the year. He hasn't been there earlier. Yeah, uh, Carroll came through um, the third seed, made it to the finals, beating Boswick in the semis. Um, I, I like... We'll check you there in that match, to be honest. And 127, we have, uh, again, working time from Conestoga and Harrington from Strathaven. That's a, a conestoga Strathaven uh, matchup. That's going to be a, a good match. I give the edge to working time. Um, both guys, again, pin their way through. It'll be interesting to see. Tough one to call. So as we, we go on um, to... Um, one, so right now, we're, we're going to go, um, I don't know if we can hear Mr. Laos introducing our parade of champions uh, for uh, this evening. And we'll try to, you know, update you as we go along. It was, uh, and then we did give the team, I did give the team scores earlier with, uh, as we go through. And holding the, no, there's, shot even holding, holding that lead. Mm -hmm. Just continuing on as we're going through, because we're not able to hear all the, the announcing from Mr. Lau. But, um, so at 133? 133. Um, uh, Nafsi from Har Harrington uh, did a nice job upsetting, uh, upsetting the one seed. I think Nafsi is one guy to consider when we're talking most outstanding with where he's come from uh, in the top weight class, beating O'Donnell, and tonight gets Milligan from Strathaven. Uh, Strathaven is going to need those points. So as we go, uh, 
We have 107, as we can see, we'll continue with 107. We have Lee and O'Donnell, as we had uh, pointed out earlier, 114. We're going to go Nelson uh, and McFarland. You know, lots of cheers from the crowd for both wrestlers there. Uh, 121. By checking in Jack Harrell from Garner Valley. Great job on the graphics uh, with Jennifer in the uh, back there and with uh, two people that are doing our... 33 with uh, Miles working team in Harrington. Another uh, kind of so good strategy matchup, Coach. Got a bunch of those in the finals. It's going to be good. We just talked about this one. Nafshi. From Harrington. Nafshi and Milligan. Getting. The hometown uh, team and Nesbitt for many taking on Hunt from Garner Valley. You've got to consider Nesbitt to be the favorite here. Mm -hmm. Cut it to uh, Dijon. Dijon and uh, Troy are there. Dijon again, the yeah, Rosnick uh, campaign for most outstanding wrestler. <laughs> You know, I think they wrestled each other this year. I think the Zong did major. Dylan and Messers at 52. Remember. Another good one, Wayne and, and Bo, both ranked in uh, District 1. The rankings would be a good match. At, at 72, going to be another good one. I got to say that's the featured match, one of the featured matches. Uh, here's the one I'm looking for, Coach. At 189, Jake Howard, number two in the district, against Sam Milligan from Jackie, number one in the district. Now, I don't think that's going to... Come down to the, the team total could go down right there, Bellatronte and, and Crawford. And then Power Bell finishing it up. You know, you gotta think that they're knowing the team score at that time. It could be a fall winning the tournament. Boy. Might need a fall there from Ben to win the tournament. You know, it's gonna be we'll see how that goes. Very interesting as we go down. And there's our lineups for tonight. Found off the team scores again, as Mr. Cooper said, Coach Cooper said, Conestoga, 172. They're in the lead. Strathaven, 163.5. They're number two. Your number three team, Radner. Oh, say does that. 
Yeah, what is he doing there? Coach, it's always uh, good to hear a national, a good national anthem that was sung by Sue and all tape before the game. It's always something that I enjoy uh, listening to all the years that I've watched sports. And that uh, we can get back into uh, the, our final review. It went over, you know. We're going to start at 103. Uh, the center belt, which will be featured, uh, will be the championship. The Pancras belt, which is in front of us, our table, will be for will be for third and fourth, I believe, and fifth and sixth will be on the on the Garner Valley map. So if you look at the finals at 103, Coach, uh, Hayward, and Rush. 107 now. 107, excuse me. One, you're dating yourself with the 103. Uh, 98, uh, 95 when we first started. <laughs> 98, back in the day. 95 when we first started. Smith and, and Kramer and May and uh, good night. Here and we go with our Central League team. And here we go. Haywood in the red. He's wearing the red ankle band. Rush in the green. He'll be the home. Haywood looking for that credit right off the bat. Kind of sips a little low, but taking back well. Haywood comes in with a 15 and 2 record. He's ranked in the District 1 rankings as sixth. To lose a tough match to, as I said earlier in the afternoon, to Nelson from Ridley, a barn burner, at no, when he went up to 14. Going to the screen for the uh, Pancrest match, uh, Smith and Kramer. Need a match for third. Cool. Yeah, kind of still is going to need these points to pull away from Strath either. 105 on our really met with Hayward with a 2 0 lead. Hayward coming out with this, the single, ships goes back down to the ride. Kramer and Smith through the first period, nothing, nothing. It's your pen crash mat on our uh, right hand side. Rush trying to Grandy out. Hayward catches him with a half, puts boots in, getting some backs. <laughs> Mr. Louth coming over and forcing the photography rule. MPI AA competition, you cannot take photos or film from the floor. You must be in the stands. Five seconds to go, first period. They were leading one nothing. Just to, as you see the constellations moving on, the one, two, and two, even with the third, fourth, fifth, six. A little different in the finals, but the two, two, and two traditional. Rush takes bottom. Down five nothing. It's a one nothing lead from Smith from Marple. I don't know. There's trying to get some difficulties down on the fifth six. The fifth six match. Looks like some technical work going on. May and go to that. Still one nothing. Smith on our single, trying to finish. <laughs> Smith with a nice high crotch. Sits the hip, gets the two, two take down. Gets behind, good ride position. Chopped that arm. He's got 28 one. seconds to ride him out. We're back in business in our finals match. Haywood with a filthy half. 
fouls it. A little, a little, little funk there going on, Coach. Haywood looks like he's a uh, oh, miracle. It's going to, you know, it's like we're already holding two. Does get the two back out of it. Quarterback looking for the ball down on. Rush get the escape. 7-2 lead by Haywood. Back to action. Smith's holding a 3-0 lead over Kramer from Conestoga. Oh, beautiful that lap drop by Haywood. That was pretty, Coach. It's going to be a five-point move. It's not a fall. Rush putting his way too much into him. Haywood, nice lap drop, getting two and three. He might, he might put it away. Scooting hips out. For a slip, a slip into a headlock and there's the ball. That's it. Haywood was a freshman tournament with three pins. They'll hold that second match, I think, until everyone finishes. Right in front of us right now, from, at the Pancrest night, you had Smith and Kramer. Kramer with, you know, any, any points key for the, the pioneers here in the battle with uh, Strathaven for the total. We can pick up points where Strathaven didn't get any. Good, sh good shot defense, good reshot. Kramer pushing the action. Trying to draw, trying to get a takedown. Also may draw a stone call here. One minute to go in this match. And there it is, coach. Ah, uh, Jim Webb hitting Smith. with stalling for backing up. There's a nice shot there. Smith in on a yeah. deep double. Yeah. Now he's got double underhooks. Yeah. Seeing if he can toss him. That's, that's two. Looking for the Merkel to get the two there, Coach, and he slipped it up to, to get the legitimate two. 20 seconds five left. One with 19 seconds to go. Looking for a good win here. Kramer getting the one. He's got to go desperate. Got Two seconds left. I'm not going to be able to get it. That's time. Smith takes your third place from Marple Newtown. So our place where was at 103, which will go over. Hayward to 10. Ross second. Smith from third. Kramer Conestoga fourth. Griddick, Upper Valley fifth. And your sixth place, May from Garnet Valley. Yeah. As we move on to 114, McFarlane and Nelson, the one we've been talking about for the championship, working time with Conestoga, Lee from Radnor, which is again crucial in the team race, and then Daly uh, from Daly from Lower Marion, and Kine from Upper Derby. I feel like this finals match is going to be revisited a couple times possibly at this yeah, could be you know i don't know i'm talking to i, don't, I didn't actually didn't see uh curtis Italian. they usually he's a regular here i usually talk to him all the time when i'm here and um, talked about possibly you know dropping to 107 for the season mm -hmm. lots of movement uh coach In our third fourth place match. Lee from Radnor with a quick takedown over Parker. Walking time. Nelson, McFarland feeling each other out. Not a lot of time up, both from space.
Cole taking that low approach, the knee to the mat. Curtis, lots of motion. McFarland wants to tie up. He's good in the tie, better in the tie, I think, than Nelson. Nelson better Nelson's at shooting from out. Yes, he's uh, better at shooting from space. Forty-seven seconds to go in the first period. So Nelson, Nelson match. And Pancras match. The Badgers up the lead, leads two nothing in the this time. Again, as we stated, another crucial match with Conestoga in action with Strats even not having anybody here. McFarland charged with a caution. I don't know that it'll affect the match, but keep an eye on that. Twenty-five to go in the period. Mm -mm. Run with a shot. Mm -mm. Eight seconds. Oh. Tough call. Star warning on uh, Nelson for backing up. Don't know. I can't comment because I'm a really guy. <laughs> I don't know if I agree no comment, totally. No comment. They go to our floor screen with the working team. Leading, late, or excuse me, leading, leading record team, 6 nothing. Daly from Lower Marion getting the fall over there. <laughs> Nelson trying to come out the back door. Carlin's is so good on mat wrestling. Gets the escape. Things got funky. He gets the take. Three now. Uh, with 24 to go. They looking for the ball. Looking for the ball. Getting back points. On the Pancras mat, which is our lower screen. Upper left is uh, McFarlane. It's a cost in there. Carter's trying to get a quick jump. This time, green. One each, one caution each. <laughs> Nelson trying that chin whip. Looking for the switch there. Trying to get it. Good movement by Nelson. Getting the switch. Looking to try to get that ball in. Got good hip separation there with the back hook. Was able to get this hip separated to hit the two. Coach, did you get that call there? Oh, it's the clock malfunction. Jaden Lee getting the pin over Parker. Walking oh, team. He saw the referee stop or show motion. I didn't know what the call was, uh, but it was a clock malfunction. Should be three two, I believe. Yeah, that's what I have. Three two. Mm. So that our focus is on the center man here. Well, well, he quick, quick escape. Nelson with the shot. This is where McFarlane scored last time. See if Nelson makes adjustments in this situation. Gonna get a stalemate there. 54 to go. <laughs> McFarlane adjusting by getting his hands on the mat now. It's both of them. So I, yeah, it was uh, McFarlane. Finger in the eye. And the finger in the eye. That's injury time, probably. For two forty seconds to go in the second. 
Nelson with the one stalling call. They don't have single again. <laughs> nice counter there, coach. I don't know if Curtis was trying something there or did Cole just I'll have to look at that in, in slow motion if if McFarlane just kind of back tripped him there. I can't can't figure that out. I thought that Curtis made a good an adjustment by attacking one leg instead of two. For a 6-2 with Ruby with the choice, he's got to go down, I would assume. I think he's going to stay away from... Looks at the coach. Coaching staff says go neutral. He already chooses bottom. Interesting. McFarlane puts him on his feet. Cole has countered uh, Curtis. Curtis has been the offense on the feet. And Cole has countered two of the takedowns were counters. He got that low stance and he goes on. Here's the situation too here, Coach. Like McFarlane wants to go far in states. He's gonna need someone like Nelson, who's a good attacker, that to a counter and, and get better to make There's again, you know, with Nelson that with the slide right. and McFarlane with the counter. A heck of a counter there. You're Curtis, you, you've taken three great shots and and uh, he's, got it, right, he's got it all three. stopping 34 seconds you can close the gap with a takedown Shot by Cody. Four seconds left. I think that there's got to be a lot of optimism in the Ridley camp. Uh, I, you know, I saw the wrestle twice last year. Uh, McFarland hammered him one time. And, you know, I think Nelson has you know, made up a little bit of ground. McFarland wrestle top. You know. Second caution, got to tell the ref that he needs coming down from 114 with an injury. Looks tough, but it was uh, what we thought it was. It was good match. McFarland, your winner. 10 6. The lovely Mrs. Louth making an appearance. It was everything we, we, we were with, with, with that. McFarland wrestled tough. Good counter wrestling there. Good takedown to Brestmith on both parts. Very good match. But as I said, if I'm in the rugby camp, I'm, you know, even if Curtis Scott's go down to 107, I'm optimistic. With uh, Cole, you know, having two strong showings at states and last year placing fifth. So we go 121. Mm -hmm. 
121, Nolan Carroll, Garner Valley, Steven, Wachitsky, Conestoga. Different schools, same thing. I didn't know if it was a club singer. Yeah, we're uh, confused at the singer, but Carlin wearing a, uh, a similar singer that has um, the Jackie from Conestoga. The Jackie from Conestoga. The Jackie and Kyle on night number on the rhythm night, which is. Upper left hand corner, the upper of the alley mat. Uh, right hand corner is the fifth six match. Lomarnowski Quaver. Mm -hmm. In front of us, Bosford Dalchante for Devin Fourth. Dalchante was a 2 0. Coach, did you see was that a takedown by. Uh, by uh, Bellatrante. Ah, uh, yeah, Bellatrante got the first takedown. Nice double leg. We're our finals mat, the rhythm mat. 24 seconds to go. Nothing, nothing match. With Jackie and Kyle. Bellatrante getting a reverse on Boswick on the third and fourth place match. <laughs> Jackie with a 15 and one record of sophomore from Conestoga. Uh, it was uh, ranked eighth, honorable mention in the District 1 rankings. Carol, as I said previously, in the rankings, not there now. Well, Dante on the take there. Takes the 6 2 here with Boswell. Boswick with a reversal, cut the lead to six to four. Or a finals match, coach. Uh, one nothing with an escape uh, by Carroll, 138. Guys kind of holding back a little bit. And yeah, they are being very tactical. It's They're not wide tactical. open. And. Down below Romanowski with a clean up from the chicken with that nice take down there. He goes up 2 1. Bell trying to escape, 7 4. As we go into the third period. The Chucky trying to rob up that cradle, he's running it. Carol's got a butt over here, that's tight. That's tight, coach. That'll do it. That's a big one for the for the Stoga Stogas with the a pin and a win in the finals. Let's see if Romanowski down there can do something for the Panthers. He leads for nothing as we go into with 48 seconds. Boswick down by two here, 5-7. 125 to go there, coach, in that match. Gets caught on the line. 
two and three. Down 12 5. It's got to go big now. John Jay leading 12-6. And Pancras back to our right, to our left. Uh, Romanowski up to nothing. Thirty seconds. Boston's gotta go big, looking for a headline. Right Belchante, nice job defending. Rocky oh, trying to go big move. Four two match there on. We're going to Valley, man. To our left. Now we're trying to get the major. Fourteen to six. He's your third place winner. One thirty-two to go with a four-two match on our Garnet Valley, man. All the way down. Little shout out to uh, Daily Times reporter, one time Daily Times reporter, Terry Tui over there covering the match. Always nice to see a reporter out nowadays, and kind of don't get them as much. It's great when we do get coverage of our, our sport, and I did see Terry out at Strap Haven Wednesday night. It's great to see him out here uh, today. Does a great job in all sports. Those who do read the paper don't, does real well at Villanova basketball as well. Those who know Delaware County know Villanova's not really in Philadelphia, but Delaware County. Did you know that, Coach? <laughs> Did know that. <laughs> so we're 5-2, 51 seconds to go. I'm now see you at the lead. And good head out there on the well that that could be crucial if he, he, I don't know he only got two there. You know, the three would have bumped him up to uh superior. With Shaft Haven that's any point was is crucial. What do you think, coach? Would you and they're signaling, I know I would, they're gonna let him go here. Gotta give it a shot, gotta go for a mage. Especially so we're going to Valley Matt, which is our single screen right now. 29 seconds to go. Nine to three. Romanowski trying to push the action. You look for the takedown, 15 to go. Time to shut. Mm -mm. Not going to get it. Momonowski takes a decision, 9 to 3. Up on the award stage now, you can see the partial, the representative, Jack Signer, the athletic director of Ridley, awarding the medals to the wrestlers. 127, coach. Yeah. 
So we have uh, M. Muckatine from Conestoga, Harrington from Strathaven, William Evans uh, in Conflation, and Del Rocco and Di Marino. So first of the uh, Conestoga Strathaven matchups. Rock and Tyne getting the two off the off the counter shot, looking for a cross face cradle. He's got it locked up. Up top, on our upper right, we got really down two nothing. Del Rocco to Di Marino from Grant Warner Valley. Right in front of us on the Pancras mat, which is lower right. Really and Evans. Shane Marley, Will Evans. Well, tying out to two nothing lead. Tie riding tough. Telaraka double boots in, grinding with a power half. Our finals match, walking time, just still just riding so tough on Harrington. Takes a 2 0 lead into the second period. Don't see Harrington choosing bottom. Mm Nothing happens with the lead from Michael over Rory. The Rock is selling for nothing. Harrington trying to chase the action, but it's going to cost him a takedown. Evans and Willie in a scramble on the tank that's back. Lower left. 37 seconds to go. Walking time once going to see. Let's check out the through. Partial dump. We take a 7-1 lead, 128 to go. Trying to force those boots in, get a little high. And our featured match. Welcome team with the 7 2 lead with 58 seconds to go. As we enter the third, Del Rocco down six nothing on the Garden Valley mat, which is our upper right hand match. Welcome team, well in control, coach with a 9-2 lead. 23 seconds to go. He's got to be looking for 
bonus points. Yeah, he's looking Stop. good on top. Double from Bigley. Okay, what if he looks out? Okay, from top. Man, he looks. Them legs in. He's grinding good on his feet. Grinding pretty tough on top. Got a one one match in front of us on the pen crash mat, which is uh, lower left hand corner. Got to try and get that takedown. Rocket time going for the major now. Looking for that turn, cross face. Now he's getting the swipes. He's gonna get the major. If not the pro. Di Marino with a 93 decision over here. Del Rocco from Midland. Well, he's trying to hang on to a lead. Second to go with Burley with a 3 1 lead on our pen crush mat. Burley trying to ride that ball. It's a little bit too far out to the side for my liking. Look at that lead for the ball. Not going to get him a superior. Show of emotion there. Taking that third place victory. Rockentine, a workman's like major decision. Notice this trap team and coach had a smile on his face because they didn't give up the uh, major, the, uh, the, the technical there. Got out of there with the major 17 3, which may be a factor down the line. Looking to stay it down, Curtis Nelson up on the stand. See Mr. Tui down there with his camera on the capture. So anything stand out in the first four? What about uh, Coach? Three? All right, here we go. On our way. Hey. And did, there, did anything stand out for you? And there's a so far, I mean, a workman like performance. This workman like, like, yeah, this workman like with work, working time look good there. With all our all our winners so far, just solid, solid in all three positions. So now we got Harrington throwing representative uh, Knopf at. I think it was the district last year. I sat and was talking with his mother, a nice lady. So, Bobby Harrington's only representative in the finals. He's down at 14. He wrestled the Curtis Nelson a lot last year. Had a good tournament so far. Number four seed, taking on Ben Milligan from Strathaven in the number two seed. Nate O'Donnell, the one CD. He, he's in a third and fourth place match against Ethan Bliss mm -hmm. from Garland Valley. Well, I guess, Coach, I'm looking down 
at the Garden Valley night, uh, the, I guess it was because I saw Wickham dress. Brought the party, or uh, Not sure. They're going to go out of bounds there. That's uh, a guy on bliss from Garden Valley. One thirteen to go in the first. Feeling themselves out there. One minute. Last year, two good wins over first uh, from Garnet Valley, ten nothing, and O'Donnell seventeen to six. Never give too far. Pin Flop and uh, Wickham. They get here. Three five to go in the first period. Shoot a bell. 23 to go in the first period. It's nothing, nothing about. Getting after it a little bit. Starting to warm up. What happened to our fifth and sixth place belt? I would assume that I saw Wickham dressed, so I would assume Pluck um, either forfeited. I know that now to be frustrating, he came in pretty highly touted. He was, I guess, ranked in a higher weight class in, in rankings in District 1. I don't know whether injury, you never know what happened there. Got stoppage on both mats now. Injury times, here we go, we're back in the action. Both of them starting about the same time. Now nah, she's looking for the shot, looking for the dump. No, they're trying to counter. Good looking at the dump by Nafshi. Nice win for the counter, coach. You know, they're all through, little scramble. And they go out. Nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six to go on our mat, which is on our right hand side on the Pancrest mat. Little scrambling. Mm -hmm. Don trying to step over. Boy, still scrambling with him. I think Bliss is on top. Mm -hmm. Looking for that cross face. The right call by Walt. Holding on to that leg, got to move up. He's on top. Gets hit for stalling. Bliss does. Now she looking a potential danger. Yeah. Cracks him on top. She gets a hazard tilt, yeah. he's getting swipes. Got two there, maybe, maybe more. Good cross wrist hazard. Going to walk three, nothing. Resets and looks for it again. They're going to try to pull that arm down. A lot of times when you hang that arm, you get yourself in trouble there. Trying to pull it down, come out the back. Now she hanging on. I think now she has his ankle hooked, so. He just chopped the arm, looking to take it to a bar. Throwing a boot in. It looks solid. <laughs> Try to pull that arm down again. <laughs> a switch. <laughs> oh, I knew his leg's tough. Got 50 seconds to go. Forty seconds to go. Thirty seconds left. Now she's still riding tough. Milligan's got a timeout for headgear. You know, Miller's got to try to least score here. I think he has the choice, coach, I believe, in the third period. Give himself a shot. Yeah. Tying up or going ahead. 
I thought Milligan took down in a second, so I think Nashi has it. Just, has I'm choice, just, but I could be mistaken. Just wants to score three knots, and that's the only thing that I. Nashi grinding a wrist and a half. Top on top. O'Donnell gets a 7-2 lead with 16 to go. Now she's going to take a 3 nothing lead into the third period. Got a good take five here. Bliss from Garden Valley sneaking away over O'Donnell, 2 nothing. Did you, did you see the call there? Yeah, so uh, now she's on top. He's, he locks on a double leg. I, did see, I saw the call, but the, the, the question that I have for you there is that the match judge called that, that. Now, is that something that, you know, as a coach, can be done? He made the call in a match like that? Uh, I think in the finals, in that situation, um, Webb's out of position. I think he can make that call. Mm -hmm. Now we got a stalling call in one. Man, that's a tough call. Now we're at 3-2. Now she's going to try it right up. Milgram's got to go for the one. Tie it up. Two to go ahead. He's got a bunch of ways to do it, coach. He's now she's hit for stalling. Got a little high there. You better go out of bounds. 11 to go. It's a long time to ride it, guys. It's a long time. <laughs> Takes that arm again, looking for that tilt. Well, shoot. A little high there. Looking for a splatle. Yeah, it's got a little high there. 52 seconds to go. A lot of time on that clock. Looking for a crater. 30 seconds to go. Got to boot in. A little high, bro. Cross face cradle. Can he bump the hit? Out? He tries to roll through it. He gets back. Ah, oh, it's big. Harrison coaches saying he's flat. Full swipes there. Now she out of the what seed, coach? The four seed. He might want to look at that. Might want to look at that. I don't know. I don't know. Rainy with the win over Brilliant Farms. <laughs> Is Rainy the one seed? He was. He is. She was. They haven't wrestled yet. No, they haven't. You know, got nice, but, you know it, it, it must be, Coach, and that's what's wearing. It must be a, I'm looking at the Pennsylvania maybe on the back. Is that what it is? Maybe it, if, I don't know. I, I, I can't understand why they would be wearing those, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me, because Nedrich got one on, too. It seems like all the one seeds that made it to the finals have those singlets on so far. First I thought it was, I, I don't know if you're, you're familiar with black. I thought it was a black sheet, but I, I don't know, I'm not familiar with that program. But uh, I don't think it's that. I don't think they were allowed about it. Whatever, whatever they're doing, it's got to be PIA approved. So it's so up on your word stands right now with our 127 chance. So 139. We got Hank Matthews from Midland and Hunt. 
from Corny and Quails, Ah Young from Muffle and Johnson, uh, so rather Johnson with the headlock, right away, off of Ah Young and Tickle and McKenzie who tries to get down in the end now. Now has uh, Nesbitt and Hunt wrestled before? Uh, I don't think so this year, Coach. I'm not sure of others. Nesbitt's, I guess, two losses were, I think, last week up at Rock Yards. Uh, Ridley took some lumps up there with Owen J and who the rest of Owen J and out South. And I think they had another tough match up there. On in and on a single. Nesbitt, nice wizard. Nesbitt's dad, Jeff, in his corner, along with Nesbitt trying to break the grip on that outside single. Puts it back on the mat. Good action. Down on the guarded ballot mat, we have uh, Tickle and McKenzie Tickle from Lower Marion. McKenzie from Conestoga. Nesbitt shot on his own, gets that single, finishes well, takes the 2 nothing lead. Third to get back in the match, down five nothing. Nesbitt with a two nothing lead in the first period, riding top on top. Sweet ankle pick by Johnson over here in the third and fourth match. Johnson looking for the ball from Radley. He's got that hand and a tight waist over the top. Gets the fall. Paxton Hunt getting the last second escape to close the gap two to one. In our format, it looks like one nothing uh, injury time. Going on. Nesbitt looking for that headlock. He's going to get it. Two two goes up six one. My least favorite counter of the headlock trying to roll through that. It's only if, uh, Coach, you hit a certain way, but you try to roll through and get stuck, you're done. It's <laughs> the only thing with the roll through. That's why I got to drop to an outside single on that. Unless you're tight on the hip, you know, with the roll through. If you're not tight on the hip, you're in trouble. Uh, I guess when you're, you're, you're locked in close with a man when he tries it, you lock that hip. But if you're in a far position, you're in trouble trying to roll through. I agree with that. I see a lot, of that, a lot of those big moves in, in, on a college level, uh, Coach, uh, or is it like singles, doubles, you know, stuff? Uh, depends on the match. Um, I've seen them in the finals, big moves in the finals of NCAAs a couple of times, a lot of times. Think of uh, Miles Martin going back, uh, wrestling uh, Penn State. Um, trying to think of his name, Bo Nickel. Yeah. Bo Nickel hits a crazy cradle to pin him in the finals. Nesbitt up 6-2, 43 to go in the second period. Nesbitt with a nice inside lead pick. Good, good, pick. good short off. Nice there. He's got a low leg cradle. Out of bounds. We talked about that earlier, how they extended that. His knee hit out of bounds there. It's going to get three, you go up 9-2. Down on uh, mat number one, 
that's a uh, received on the guard of the mat. It's a one nothing uh, lead uh, at this time. For uh, Tickle from Lower Marion. Long time Lower Marion coach, I saw you talking. Uh, heck of a nice guy as well, who I've known throughout the years. Uh, when we used to have one high school, Timmy Perry, you got a chance to talk to him earlier on. Uh, Timmy out of wrestling now, but no more nicer guy than Timmy Perry. Could be the nicest guy in wrestling. I knew Jim when he was assistant coach to Burke. All those years, Laura Marion just doing his thing. Yeah, the late coach Burke, I asked, uh, you know, I was talking to Timmy about him, another great guy. Uh, I'm sure you remember they had a state champ named Chris Potter. He was uh, very good back in the days. Youth uh, coaching. Teddy McKenzie getting a reversal down there. Paxton Hunt gets to his feet. Chris Nesbitt does a nice job dropping to a double. That's just solid there with a big lead. Looking for those bonus points for the Green Raiders. Take the period out. <laughs> so coach, uh, for delaying the action right now, any prediction on, uh, on the, uh, the Eagles tonight? Uh, I got the Eagles winning. I, don't, I, I feel like the Giants are going to cover the spread. The over and under is 110. I like the under. It's playoffs time. I don't see that many points scoring. I'm not a betting guy because I hate to lose money. <laughs> but, uh, no. I like the Eagles. But you never know in the NFL. You never know in any sport. Not in the NFL. Measure with the takedown, he's going to go 14-2. I think you know that well enough as a coach. You, know, you never know. You never know. For two teams or two kids, you never know what's going to happen. This will be the third time playing each other, so you get the... Yeah, well, well, a little tangible, bit. Then, you know, like anything. Mackenzie getting a 2-1 victory over Tickle. 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 Another win for Thomas Thurman. Yeah, they're looking, looking good so far in the final round. Hunt being still aggressive. They score 14-3. 43 to go. So when will your uh, nationals be for junior national for Williamson, Coach Frank? So our uh, nationals this year will be March 15th, 14th, 15th. And this year our venue is in Puerto Rico. So you're bringing me? Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like being an assistant? Santiago. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> you, know, you, have, you have a nice staff with uh, Joe, Joe Silvestri and, and Mr. Laos. You have some good guys that help you out. Yeah, I just got to get some kids there. <laughs> That's been 14 of 3 in major decision. In the finals, you were rudely later the champion. Should delay the start till after the announcing of uh, award winners, I would imagine. You go to 145, it's probably the only match without a, you know, Ridley Conestoga, Strat Haven, yeah. Upper Darby and Bankrupt. Thank you. 
thought they would wait, Coach, so I didn't any words, but they're starting the finals. Doesn't look like they're ready. So here we go in the finals. We got uh, DeJong from uh, Pancras. And Mamade Trio from Upper Dog, I mean, and Kionia from Chat David and Cramp from Haverford. And we're looking at Behar from Wagner and uh, Britain from Garnet Valley. Now, Dijon and Trio have wrestled before with Dijon coming out the victory by Major. Dijon really aggressive there, getting the takedown. Nice fireman's there, getting the two. Looking at the rhythm mat. Caution top man on Dijon, a little tight waist. Dijon, very aggressive. It's going to get reversed there. Maybe too aggressive. Maybe too, maybe too aggressive. Gets her takes down in front of us. It's our Pancrest mat, lower left hand side. Up on the Garner Valley mat. Nothing, nothing match. Jean starting on bottom, gets the escape. Goes up 3 2. Trailer very good at shooting from space. Injury time. They go out of bounds on the Garner Valley mat. Upper right with a 2 1, a 1 0 lead. Yeah, having a shot, Brayden trying to counter. Trying to get his two. Don't know what happened. I don't know if they hit heads or uh, what, what, what occurred. 30 seconds to go on the Pancrest mat. Left hand side. Crap riding. He was winding down. Back in action in our first place bout. Troy looking for heavy hands. Dijon trying to slow the pace. It's a 3 2 match, 11 seconds to go. Going it down 2 0 as we enter the third period. Whatever was slow in the, the award ceremony. They certainly have time to get it all right right now because there's a lot of stoppages on these three matches. Got a near injury time here. Traylor injury time. Down the bottom, 3 1. Coach, I know you're secretly rooting down there. Britain down 3 1. Rooting for Britain. Oh, my boss was, <laughs> that was my boss, so I'd be rooting the hard too. <laughs> sure. Sang tough. He sang tough. He's 3-1 going in the third. Trio with choice. He takes bottom. Second period. Dijon on top. Look in the bar. <laughs> Cramp with an escape. Riding those legs tough. Oh, 
Britain with a late takedown back in this match. 5-3, 137 to go on our feature mat in the middle. Is that 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two, three down there? No, 3-2 in the middle, I'm sorry. In the middle of 3-2 is Jean. Cramp up 70 nothing on the Pancras mat. While we're right hand side. For those watching, I hope I'm not confusing. Those watching live stream, hope you are enjoying our coverage. I know we enjoy bringing it to you every year, and uh, hopefully you you enjoy um, listening and having us. Still three two, Dijon riding tough. Green with a five three lead all the way down, coach. With a minute to go, Grand Pop 7 to 1. Looks like he's going to ride out to a victory unless he gets a 2 for uh, Superior. Uh, and you got 3 for 2 for the 9 1. He's going to win it. So Grand Pop take. Grand Pop the major. Third place, 9 1. Stay on that. In their center match, Dijon just gave up a penalty point to make it 3-3. 19 seconds to go. Try to get that tilt with that bar. That bar tilt. You know, he's going to get it. He's going to get three out of it. Might get the ball. Yeah. The tilt ball. Six three lead. Needed those backs. Down on the Garner Valley map. Bray with a 5-3 lead. That's on our upper right-hand side. Ten seconds left. Looks like he's going to get the win. Jean takes bottom. Trior lets him have an escape. 7-3 to Jean. Yeah, that could have been real trouble. It was trouble enough with the two coach. Almost with two seven, back. Seven five. I'm trying that three quarter. I wouldn't be so well, I wouldn't be surprised if he cuts him here and goes again. I want thirty seven to go. Got plenty of time to do it. I mean, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. All right. Good call, Coach. Coaching staff from Pencrest trying to get the to go right in. Uh, Trior going for another take. Trying to counter it with a big move. Jean, the Jean trying like to get in. Trying to cement there. We're going to go out of bounds. Like you said earlier, right before you got there, the cement made famous by that. Don Roan in the Concrete Cave from Northampton. John pushing the action. Deshaun looking for a fireman's again. Troy looking to throw him by. Short offense here. 56 to go, and they're going to call a stalemate. Advantage Trior here gets to shoot from space. Dijon's got to stay low and tie up. Nice and shot. Dijon shoots from space. I'm taking those back. Take and back. He might finish it here. That's it. So I expect a Bear to come over campaigning in a, in a little while for his weapon. <laughs> You know, he's looking at me, looking right at me, slapping his hand. He's looking right at me, you know, you know. Now, I don't want to accuse you of uh, being a homer coach, you know, a pen crush guy. <laughs> Three pens, he's the number one seed. He's the one seed. <laughs> Well, same with Ryan and I, we always have a lot of fun doing it. Coach and I always have fun doing it. 
This is one seed. It's tough to get an OW to the one seed unless they uh, pin their way through. Well, we got Mr. Spielman here at 152. Um, Michael Spielman, a 4C, taking on Messino from um, TV. Viseros, excuse me. Rocco Hartfuss wrestling for third and fourth. Tommy. Tommy Rush. Mm. Anderson and Sinko. Mm -hmm. Spielman, your five seed. Six to go. Not number one. One thirty-eight to go. There's one of those singles to get coach. I will find out what they are before the night's over. I think we'll have to ask. Uh, we'll have to director. We'll take him into his back. First period over, nothing, nothing. Rush and Hartfuss, middle mat. Spinman and Maceros, nothing, nothing. Maceros, a Garnet Valley wrestler. Maceros from space, gets it on the leg, tries to come through. Spinman a good job with heavy hips. Your Ridley Raider starts on bottom, second period. Looking to escape from Tommy Rush. Gotta be careful stepping over that hit. Set up for Pierce in there, Coach. A little bit. Potentially dangerous on the knee there. Stoppage. I don't think Coach Rainey was too happy with that call. Nothing, nothing on our finals match. Feeling each other out. Good shots though, both guys. Harfus gets out for one. Still nothing, nothing in our finals match. And down below, we're looking at a uh, four nothing lead. Uh oh. Tommy Rush trying to headlock. Rocco trying to slip it through the two. He does. Goes up to zero. Spielman with choice from Straff in our finals match. He takes bottom. Harder's trying to run that bar. Running around the head. Looks like he's got him in trouble. Oh. Rocco looks to finish this. With one second left in the second period, he gets the pin. Takes third place. The third place winner, Rocco Harkus. Tell you what, one of the things I enjoy where we sit, coach, is all these um, bleacher coaches. <laughs> I'll tell you, they, they should hire some of these people. <laughs> Something you don't get much in the college level. Maybe you do. Do you, do you get a lot of that? Not as much, no. Mm -mm. Not that you can hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, filthy he headlock. Had a headlock. Nasty headlock by Anderson. With it's, him, it's tight. That's that'll be the match. With him. 
came back with the fall. The match going on right now, nothing, nothing. Our finals match between Miss Harris and Spielman. Chair tried to tell. One of the things, Coach, I, I do really, I think, over the years, what I miss about high school, and, and you know, some colleagues it when you go to Penn State, is the student bodies and, and coming out and coming and um, cheering for their fellow students. That's something that I see lacking, and I really enjoyed it when, when we were there in high school, and, you know, all the, your friends will come out and watch you wrestle and, and, and basketball or football, and I think that's something that's kind of lacking with all the extra critical activities uh, today. Is that something you would agree on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, big changes there in our first place bout. Spielman on bottom gets the escape plus a lock in hands. 2 nothing. Maceros did not know locked hands. Must have just touched the fingertips. That's all it needs to happen. Going in on a double. He's got that underhook counter. Looks like they're going to go out of bounds. 27 to go. There's only one guy that would do that, Coach. <laughs> we all know who he was. Well, I have to tell you who it was. <laughs> I just, I think that's how he was coming. I don't even see him. That looks like a takedown there. Oh, uh, it's close. This guy's sitting on his butt. One foot out of bounds now. John David Coates is... They want the two dead. Not going to get it. Five seconds to go in the period. That's time. Maceros will take bottom. I have him coming out in less than 10 seconds, and then we'll finish it on our feet here. I just hope that a stolen call doesn't determine it, Coach. Stolen call, I didn't see one, but locked hands call could be the difference. Hey, Mr. Cannon, uh, right on top of it, on the side. Right in that head lever. Yeah, it's got to get a little busy. Look, I got to get out to the side with that. Sierra's mm. mm. fleeing to get out, to get a new start. One nineteen to go. Sierra's with the break, break or excuse me, still with the breakdown. Doing a nice job riding him out. So all he has to do is ride this, ride him out for the win. Trying that roll through. <laughs> Fifty one to go, two nothing match. Trying to get that escape. It's got to take him to the match. We'll drop down to a single. And then please, that's yes, Sierra's gets a take. It's going to be an entertaining 38. Needs to get a take here. 35 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I swear that one point, that penalty point, really hurts. Sheriff's got to go here. He's got to push the pace. He's got to take some shots. Just one. Seattle's going to shoot him out. He's going to get a take out of it. Spielman, a nice job. Hurry shot. There's another four seed coach with the title. 
came out with a pin and he beat Rod defeated Hart Wilson. Took care of the three seed. Nice one like that. I think uh, Spielman was the five seed. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came in with a top 500 record and when he upset uh, Rocco the other night at Shot Haven and then he beat him again today, which was surprising because I saw Rocco pin him in the beginning of the year. Uh, so he's come a long way, dressing real well. Uh, they're doing right, a good job with him at uh, Haven. 160, we're looking at a final. It could be a good one. Rainy and uh, Boulay. Uh, Boulay, two guys, Boulay, excuse me, two guys that are ranked in District 1. Boy coming in with a 20 and 1 record, bringing 18 and 2. Billy 8th and Rainy 9th. Shot in your one, wrestling for third and fourth. Riley, uh, Shatzin, and Brulette, Pancras, and Scott, and Nito from Springfield, and Scott and Nito from Mount Mary, for fifth and sixth. Looking at low upper left hand, but they might. Bringing Emboye head to head. We try to get on that arm, twist into an ankle. Bounce with the nothing nothing score. In Columbus, Riley 2 0 over a bullet. Trying to take the other point taken yet. Boy, no shot. Then with the counter. Kind of locking that crutch. I'm going to go ankle to counter it. When you try to go out to the cross face, flatten your mount. You know, Boulay's not in a good position there. Rainey doing a nice job attacking the ankles there. He's got to break that grip. He's tried to step over that ankle. Cross face, you know, going to get sloppy there. And put himself in a bad position. You know, rolling through. Nice little scramble. Good funk through. Come out the back door. He's got to grab his own boot and bring it back. He gets the two. He gets the two. Because I you know we're watching purposes. I know we like to stand up. But that bump's really cool to watch. I like guys rolling around and you know, doing crazy things. Run that bar. Riley looking for the fall on the paint rush, man. We had to go bad position. Let me get it. Big points for Haven there. Choice. Uh, Neutral. Boy has choice. He takes neutral. You know it. And you try to counter. You know a good fireman's. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that wizard. Mm -hmm. Gets the two on the fireman's. Ties the match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goes 3-2 with an escape. 121 to go in the second period. Down on the Springfield mat, which is uh, upper right-hand corner. It's a 3-2 lead for Scott from Springfield. You know, that was a nice feet work there by Rainey. Knowing where he was, kept his feet in bounds, got the one.
and he has him extended, trying to get behind for that two. In a funk position again, we'll see what happens here. Last time advantage, Rainey. Rainey's going to lock in the crotch. Try to lock in the crotch. Slips the shoulder, gets boot in, gets two. He's got that bar and also, coach. 26 to go. Trying to ride him out. Take that three point lead since that period. Lido getting some late back points in the period there. 13 to go. They're back and forth over there. 8 7 now. Five to go. No, 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 no. Ooh, close there. Well, right on it, Mr. Webb, right there. Rainy, a little low with his hips there. Um, Coach, with, with a, a three-point lead here in a match with two quality kids, is there a strategy there? To, that you would go about uh, stalling, or not stalling, but you know, being cautious, wasting time without getting turned? If you, you can't give up a wrist, boy's pretty tough with a tilt there. Decides to cut him anyway. So now, Rainey's got to get on in on a shot and lock his hands and eat some clock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both of the guys stopped on the whistle next door. So I'm winning by four. I got to eat some clock. I got to get my hands locked on the leg. And let him do the work. Like you got to lock in on that head. Mm -hmm. So he's got to be careful getting hit with that five point. Ah, that was a shot there. Could go behind the ankle guy. You know, Ron, uh, I was sitting with Ron at a football game, and David at uh, the center, I know he had a shoulder problem on the football, you know, like with the tape. On You're going to just loop it around so it doesn't come on Velcro. Good standout. Good timeout. The coach Rudy Rudy's giving up his seat to Coach Nesbeth and Coach Service as he stands behind him. This That's what he needs right there. A little sweep single, lock his hands, eat the clock. 59 to go. Leo looking for a fall on our man on right hand side over the Springfield rusher. He pops out. Scott pops out of it. Gets a reverse. No, he's that's a match, though, 13-10. Rainey blocking that shot. You got an inside crotch there. Nice job. He's comfortable in this L low position Rusting there. Rusting is very smart, you know, Coach, like, like you had said. Yeah, right here. Here's intelligence right here. Stay there. Stay there. I uh, will call him out of bounds. I uh, just don't want to give up the five pointer. That's why he's got to stay low and get to a sweep single. But 15 seconds left. Again, he likes that power roll position. He's comfortable there. Solid win for, for uh, David Wayne with Ridley. Workman like 6 2 victory. Hmm. Well, they came in with one loss. A uh, very good win for Rainey. Rainey, regional qualifier last year, along with Nelson Nesbitt, Rocco, and uh, Mars. Moving right along here, Coach, we go to 172. McClellan from. Uh, 
Connor Stogel over Moscow from Hanford in our final match. Holly from Marple and Klein from Springfield. Uh, Rick said fourth. She wants uh, And we still have an answer to question about these singles. <laughs> Getting after it right already. Holly and Klein over here. McClellan, Ramosco. I like McClellan in this match. Nice takedown. Klein comes in with a 20 in one record. He's a senior. Ramosco, 16 and 6. He's also a senior. McBone has stated earlier second in District 1 rankings for Moscow ninth. In our match in front of Miss Holly, who's number five, that's from Klein, who's number 11, for third and fourth. Two near fall there by McClellan. Clown wants him back up on his feet. I feel like he wants to make a statement here, coach. Nice double leg. I know last year uh, I did get a shot, chance to go up to Hershey to see the dunk on the coaches as well as the dunk on. We had a really strong showing of uh, essentially kids. Uh, there's some, some talent here this year that I think have a shot at making up to Chocolate Town uh, come March. I know Garner Valley you lost a lot, you know, four or five kids that went up there last year, which was... You know, in a bad position there. For Moscow, nice job picking the toe, hipping back in, getting the two. Is that 6 3, coach? 6 3 match. Kind of block. That's on a Ridley mat, upper left hand corner. Also down on the bottom right. Clellan, nice job getting an escape with. One second on the clock. 7-3 now. Holly up one nothing. And on single, trying to finish it. Looking for that trip. Klein trying to wizard it. Trying to bounce out. And he's going to get the two. And then, what's going to wave it off? I don't know. I think, uh, I think Dave talked to it. I think uh, Coach Zappacuna talked to it. <laughs> I feel like uh, Howie had to go around the waist there to secure the two, but he stayed on that one leg. McClellan won another take there. Another guy, as he said earlier, Coach Petunia, Dave, tremendous guy, known him for years. Uh, coached against him when he was a Springfield, great friend. Was at uh, Larry's, my you know, cohort at Ridley's funeral. And, uh, he reached out to us and he shared he spent an hour, a uh, little over an hour with Larry in his final days, and uh, he's, as I said, great guy, he was a great friend to us. You know, so, so, uh, Coach Frank, how's your golf game? I know you, uh, you, uh, you, you and Coach Ralph uh, tore up the Kathy Cooper Scholarship Tournament with <laughs> your play. <laughs> we had a good time. Uh, I don't know if we tore up the tournament, but we had a, we had a lot of fun. Um, that was a great event. Thanks for putting that on. Uh, I really do thank us. We go on and we talk. Uh, with Ron and I, my wife, who passed nine years ago, we have a tournament. We give scholarships to students living in the borough, Ohio, Westchester, Newman, our alma maters. Over the years, um, we have a tournament every September. And, Coach, La or excuse me, Sir Ralph, Coach Frank, and their son played, and it was a tremendous time, and uh, I was so thankful for them to have him there. It was so much fun, and it's a great day, and, uh, you know, we have it every year, and it's 
you know, we've done very well and so many kids have benefited and we really appreciate all who have supported us throughout the years. So 10 4 uh, McLaughlin leading. About to get another takedown. Oh, Moscow trying that switch and a step over, coach. But you can get it. Holly in 1-1. One, one. And Klein from Springfield. And it looks like uh, down on the corner valley mat, which is our upper right-hand corner. You know, trying for a fall, you know, popping in. The riding wrestler. Just a takedown to go up 3-1 with 27 to go. Clellan comfortably ahead 14 to 4 as we enter the third period. And down on the final match. I think it's 17-4, coach. Here in our main match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be mistaken, but I thought he got three more, but not appearing. As we wrap up, Halley with a win, 3-1. As we go through so far, uh, for the Green Raiders, uh, Chris Nedrick winning a championship at 139, David Rainey at 160. Um, we thank everyone who has watched the 2023, you know, Central Wrestling Championship on the TV.com so far this evening as we wrap down our coverage um, at 172. They'll have 89, 215, 285 to go. But uh, for the teams, they will continue wrestling uh, through matches. Uh, to the oh, they don't mean to be too little confusing because they some of them don't wrestle each other, such as Stoga and Entrap even. Others wrestle two and three. I talked to, yeah, Mr. Ralph, he was saying that just the, the dual matches are the ones. I know that. Ryan, you're well aware that, you know, these matches on Saturdays and, you know, teams can wrestle, you know, three or four times uh, individual Central League schools because they're all in the same tournament. Yeah, I see um, Conestoga and Strathaven both going into the uh, district duels. Mm -hmm. Looks like um, one of the teams that they're talking about, a Delco team as a well, what's the shot at winning is Sun Valley. What, do you, what is your feeling about that and also the emergence of that program under Coach Ellis? Uh, Tommy's with, the, uh, with, with getting that personal room and getting the black sheep room, Tommy's done a nice job, Tommy Ellis that is, a nice job of growing that program. Mm -hmm. And those kids are starting to come through. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, that that middle of his lineup is pretty tough. Um, they look pretty good. Carlin's going to complete that with a 17 to 4 win. He looked impressive. I don't feel like he felt like. He had his best stuff there, but... Oh, he said going in, that was a, a really tough weight class. He had the Moscow. The most solid weight class, and I'll tell you what, and he just kind of mowed through everyone there. As we wait for the coming today productions of Colorado Racer, of really high production, really middle school production students uh, from high school, Dan Fernieri, Van Weber, Alex Bedeen, really high graduate, Aiden Maloney, a really middle school kid, show order, and the angle of Rocco Peace. Sheen Adams, Peyton Maloney, and Max. And go ahead right again, uh, guys and girls, thank you very much for a tremendous job, Bruce, as well as uh, Mr. Inachi and uh, Mr. Manza for allowing us to put this on this afternoon. Another featured bout, Conestoga and Strathaven, All Red, Milligan. You say they're uh, one, two in the districts? Yes, they are. Uh, seedings, uh, all right came in one, and uh, uh, Milligan came in at two. 
in district rankings uh, came out Thursday, Morgan was one in our group, so. As I said earlier, Milgan going to Bucknell on a football scholarship. He was a quarterback and he broke his hand and was a running back in Coach Clancy's uh, offense. Which went to the uh, District 1 finals where they lost to the top. They got the double. Already in on a single, trying to finish it. Second time in on the leg. This time he runs the pike and gets the two. A lost art, I feel like, running the pipe. High level finish. Not utilized enough, in my opinion. Milligan, a nice job sneaking through. Switching over to a double and getting the reversal. Just like that, we're all tied up. So we're looking at Coach 2-2 two -two there with 13 seconds to go. Milligan with a reversal tied up as we go into the uh, second period. In our third place bout, Davis gets the pin against Stauffer. Goes on to take third. that upper right hand side uh, Delusio and Wood a 3 nothing lead for uh, Delusio All Red with choice All Red takes neutral to start the second period no one's, no one's pretty tough on top No one's going to go in on that single No the first throw there Allred's got to get back to his sweep single. Got 128 to go in the period. Milligan's going to look for an elbow pass, the high crotch. I feel there's the elbow Try pass. Nice throw by. Delusio with the fall. Delusio with the fall. He takes fifth. That shot gets to the outside single. His little head's a little low. He's got a head to go. He's got a battery in Milligan's weight. Milligan trying to get that ankle. Going to go cross ankle there. Trying to cross base, spin the other way. Oh, nice counter. Good scram. Good scram. Back in all in. Single. Milligan's trying to hook on the ankle. Trying to mount the back door. He's got to stay high there all the He's got that ankle. Got to keep him in the air, I feel like. Milligan's trying to go through the crotch. Got to look for a cradle. Try to get points off it. Got to step over that ankle. That's usually two. Not yet. Not with, his, not with the leg over the head. Not with the leg over the head. Over the head second. Yeah. All Red's head's underneath that leg. That's a tough call, JJ. I don't think there's any control yet there. He's going to go, Gunn's Douglas coach is going to go and cross it. When, when we coach like Will A. Will guy, we always taught that uh, coach to step over that ankle because it's usually they're going to give you that too. I know what you were saying, he had their head wrapped. 
But usually, when you always when we got that stepped over, we always used to get that too. And I think that's what the call was. But I can see what you said. The the leg was not done head. Yeah, not with the head underneath the leg. I don't I don't see that as a a right call. Mm -hmm. All red gives him the escape. It's five two. He's got to get back on his feet. He's got to get busy. He's, he needs at least two tied up. He needs two takedowns. It's going to be a hard. Unless he goes five pointer, nobody's going to go headlock. Mm. Unless he can get a stall call. He's trying to spin behind. Mm -mm -mm. By the edge. Crowd trying to get into it, calling too early. No, we're taking a shot, trying to get behind. Want to get to two? Want to go up to seven two? That's a legit two. Good gas. Good gas by Milligan. He wants to push the pace. Oof. He's feeling it right now, coach. Don't be surprised if he cuts him again and gets after it again. Come get it. Here's that elbow pass. Already a nice job. Nice step, step over. over. Nice step over there. Try to get the two in the crotch. Box in the crotch. Step over the ankle. Get that, get that head out of there. You know. To get the two. See, Allred can slip his hand around the waist if he's smart. Going to call a stalemate. Yeah. yeah. Strath coach wants him to push the pace. Ooh. It's the only thing when you push the pace, you know, a quality kid, you get caught. Uh, Tied the matchup. I think he was now he's guessing, though. He looks like he's... His lungs are burning right now, I can tell you that. You know, shot. Head down on the shot. Back step over again, eat the clock, 9-4 victory. Like these two see one another again. But They're going to see each other match. again a little bit. That was a, a really good match. Got it, Beltrante and Crawford. So we look at our finals match at 215, Crawford and Beltrante, another uh, Conestoga strap even matchup. Crawford and Chante, Crawford's going to shoot him out, 115 to go, in the first period. Oh no, Pankrat back, Crawford score chop, score chop with a takedown, looking for a fall. And he gets the fall. <laughs> Don't know what that's about.
Ten seconds left, zero legit shots, 215 pound match. Mm -hmm. Happy to go into the second period with nothing, nothing. Crawford, Beltrante. Beltrante's choice defers. Crawford takes bottom. Sorry. Crawford with the one point escape. Down on the Garden Valley mat. The Jaguar in the center. The Haverford and Marple. To Callan. From Marple and uh, Anderson Schrang from Schrang Haverford. Haverford. Shrank just with a late takedown. Close the gap, three to two. Crawford looking for a takedown. First shot of the match. It's a good one. With back points. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a big fall. For that, that could be a, a difference maker right there. That's a big fall for Strath. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. As we go into our Crawford pin his way through. Yes. He Crawford had a pin over Becker from Harrington at the first period. Squirt Chop uh, from Wagner and also Bellatante. Again, thanks to our, our sponsors, McLean uh, Dance, Dance Works, uh, Doherty's uh, Auto, Doherty's Auto Sales, uh, Barone's Collision, and of course the Lockwood.biz, and again, those interested in ordering Central Cave the t-shirts can go on to the Lockwood.biz. I saw them in the cafeteria. There were some real nice shirts if anyone wants to uh, order them for uh, their uh, young ones or those who wrestle or those who might be in the tournament. Cowan over there with a 4-2 lead over Shrang in the fifth, sixth place match. Our kind of man did an excellent job for us all day, you know, really uh, supportive of us. You know, students are, and next students are just tremendous in what me, must, Mr. Unance and Mr. Monzo do. I'll tell you what, I just, it's mind-boggling how, how awesome this is. Yeah, I mean, just the, the, the production that they put on, how great their camera work is, the hustle, the problem-solving, everything to everything. I, I think know. that Mr. Laugh, Paul, deserves a lot of credit, Mr. Unachi, and I always tease, uh, like I said, anybody that can make me look sound good, you know, and I enjoy it. Um, I do it because uh, people say that they enjoy watching it, and, and of course, working with you every year is a lot of fun. And uh, we have a lot of laughs, and uh, we also, um, I, I learn, I definitely, I learn, I, I learn something new every year. And um, uh, my thanks go out to you, uh, Coach Frank. I'll tell you what, I'm mean, just an amazing, amazing every year. Just. We've had power outages and stuff like that, and they fixed them within 10 seconds. It was just, it's been amazing. While we're waiting for this match to finish up, 3-4 match, Cowan and Schrang, Schrang. 
losing the takedown, Cowan getting the win. We just want to say a shout out to Janice's Dance Works, located Swarthmore Avenue in Ridley Park. Janice's Dash Dance Works gives you a great caring environment, lets you be creative, working on your self esteem. They do everything from ballet, hip hop, tumbling, jazz. Janice's Dance Works. Check it out. Hey, the railroad tracks there if you ever get in that area. Uh, same thing as Ron's Collision. They're both right over the railroad tracks by the uh, Ruby Park Swim Club. And then before you get to Yakni, both uh, of those locations are there. They've been long time uh, supporters of living. So we go to the finals, and that's. Morris with a big Morris take down for, for, for the third and fourth Matt, place Morris, match. You know, crop, uh, excuse me. Fair ball and uh, Red Bledsoe. Bledsoe. And, and down below, uh, David and Leon. <laughs> Monaghan and, and Morris rematch. My, you know. Back and forth in the duels, right? Yeah, well, they they pin them and they won. They're two one right now. You know, with <laughs> Morris gets an escape with a three two lead. Five bound, and, uh, five bound breakout. Nothing, nothing. Fair balls, just feeling him out, trying to set up a sweep single here. Like, we'd like to know what the team score is right now. It's got to be close. It's got to be really close. I would imagine kind of, I mean, uh, Strathaven would need Fairball to pin to seal the deal. It's got to be, you know, uh, with down, Leon's going down there. Morris on the back that night, 3-2 match, you know, trying to get out for one. You know, you know gets out for one, 3-2. Barbell and Bledsoe, nothing, nothing. And a one nothing match down below. It's Leon leading. Trying to get inside. Mm, 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 mm. Go out of bounds. Let's say a very smart match again for him, man. Yeah, fair ball doing it. I'm trying to take ground there on the edge. Just got to be a little more careful. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he'd be better suited taking a couple shots and bringing Bledsoe down a little more. Morris mm. looking for the headlock again. Mm. Got to bounce. We're at 2.50 seconds to go. Matt wrestling, I like fair ball here. Fireball's escape takes one off the lead. 150 to go. Shoots him out of bounds. Look for Fairball to continue oh, to push the pace. Nice ready rusher for a two with Monahan. Monahan and Mars. Period lines down. Red 
Sancho gets called stalling. Fireball doing a nice job pushing the pace there. Mars for two. Takes the arm. Mars for Mary looking for the ball there. Goes through. Got two back points. You never know what can happen in this match. You never know. Bye bye, one nothing. Fair ball going to the Muay Thai. It's high up. Still trying to get inside. So rushing a very smart match there, coach. You know, I think he knows that it's the only way he can win it. Bledsoe's got big Colton Deary in his corner. Colton Deary, at one time ranked number three in the nation for Malvern Prep. Now plays football for University of Maryland. Morris getting the fall here for the third place match. Morris reversing a, a fall that he had earlier on. So we're going down here with the two matches left on the Pancras, well, Pancras match is the, the really match battle battle with the one off the lead. That's all hanging around, man. So you win these matches against a good kid like that. Fireball's going to be tough on top, I think, like you said, Coach. Tough on top. Pretty good at that cross-face cradle. Uses his length well. Running that tough. Got the stalling call, there's the one. It's a big it's point. Enough. Yeah, big point. There's not much happened on their feet. No, wait. It's like he's just trying to stay off his. Look at that. Don't match when you're trying to get pinned. Now about working cross base, trying to work under the arms. Yes. See you, buddy. I feel like with that win, Morris getting that pin may have put Ridley in the top three. Now I'm gonna take this three nothing handily. <laughs> Coach, I didn't go. Um, I didn't go as you accused me of being at home, but all the way I had to go part of the way. <laughs> I don't know what your choice went. But, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. Ben Fairball taking the victory, three nothing. Over Bledsoe. And you mentioned Deary. Um, what is he going on? I haven't really followed How about the Feldman from? Uh, how's he doing? I know he was like not one of the number one ranked wrestlers from Malvern. Feldman was, uh, yeah, number one ranked wrestler. Went to Ohio State. Blew his knee out. Thanks. Hey, Mom, guys, said hi. 
Take your sandwich, I said. Take your sandwich, I said. I know. What's up, my teacher? I'll see you at Jesus. Monday night. Celebratory see you later from our fan base. Trying to stand up here to watch this last match <laughs> as we go by. You know, it's can't really see it. It's a 4-2. Well, Marion, it could uh, be crucial in the team standings. Uh, we'll try to get this wrapped up as quickly as possible once we get this done. <laughs> Looking for the most outstanding wrestler and the team champion as well. Um, just to kind of reward um, those watching in the Ridley area. Uh, Ridley's uh, winners today, Curtis Nelson finishing second, Lucy McFarland fighting 114, um, Del Rocco finishing sixth at 127, Tommy Wickham taking fifth at 133, Chris Medford, the champion at 139, Rocco Harkis went with the two third place, uh, Ridley's second champion, Ron Rainey at 160 with a very solid performance, and a heavyweight, um, Seven Mars finishing uh, third, third place, you know, so. Nice job there. Uh, David did come up with the winners on that. So we're just waiting upon this. Uh, again, uh, as Ron and I said, we just want to thank everyone who tuned in today. It's a pleasure. Hopefully we'll be back here next year. Uh, thanks to Paul Ralph for putting this on, the students who uh, pr pr produced this, all the Ridley staff who helped us, uh, parents. And as I said, uh, if you're interested in T-shirts, uh, thelocker.biz. You can order t-shirts online from them. Thank you. But uh, it was all a uh, great performance. Uh, we're just looking on the um, per working on the team score um, between, it looks like, Strath Haven and Here goes our announcements now. Paul finishing up the scoring. And the uh, winners. In each weight class, mm -hmm. first, second, and third. Matt Crew getting things done in here, Coach. Real quick, real quick. So you want to get down? I know I want to get down there and watch some football. Trying to watch some eagles fly. <laughs> I hope so. Help them not, help them not crying. Help them not cry, Eagles cry. <laughs> I want to sing, man. I want to sing, and I want to sing some songs and high five some people. Waiting on the uh, awarding of awards, also the team scores, and the most outstanding wrestler. Also, thanks. I see Terry Tui, the Daily Times, for covering it for us. Those who do get the paper or online. You can read Terry's article tomorrow, uh, picture. He does a tremendous job for what they have now, uh, and so much goes out to them for what they have. So we are waiting the team scores uh, for going in. Uh, Conestoga has it. had led. Jazz Haven was uh, second. Winning it, I didn't actually hear what the scores were on that. Um, they, they won by three points. Three points, you know. Conestoga, Strathaven second. Rattler third. third. And Ridley fourth. I think Garner Valley fifth. Uh, Hopperford sixth. Going in, I kind of thought that that's the way we'd go. And we were first, second, third, fourth. 
champion thing. So we're just waiting on the just waiting on the most outstanding wrestler as they compile the ballots. Coach, I don't want to be nosy, but who did you go with? Where's your threat? For my pick for most outstanding, yeah. I, I I chose McClellan. It was a deep weight class, and he really outclassed everybody in that weight class. Well, I kind of went, I went now, she, I went, I went, uh, as from Arrington, but the 4C, in, in a tough weight class, uh, I also, Milligan, who I thought wrestled really well, beating uh, the kid that was, uh, the boy that was number one, and uh, I did throw a uh, really guy, Reagan in as my number three, with a solid win over a uh, good, but I could see anything going the way. Uh, I could see your pick as well. Most uh, upper weight class were solid. Team championship pictures were taken. Mr. Milligan, I know, is yelling because he wants to get his son out because he talks to me. He go to an Eagles game. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the game tonight wherever you're watching it. I uh, hope it's not too cold down there. I get down there all the time. I'm still right. So I'm plenty of time to get there. Love to see the Eagles victory. Yeah, I hope so. Hope so. I hope I'll be down there next week. We'll see. Waiting on those ballots for most outstanding. Cole McFarlane McFarland takes the most outstanding match. Your MOW. In a good match with, with Coach Nelson. Nelson. And that's a wrap, Coach. Yeah, so thanks for watching the 2023 Central League Wrestling Champions on TV.com. Uh, you've been listening to Ryan Frank, Jim Cooper, uh, great staff, great um, the students, and uh, Mr. Inachi and Mr. Monzo, and again, the staff of Ruby. Um, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this, and hope to see you next year. Thank you very much.